G'day legends, welcome to a three day camping mission on the boat. Got everything I need, dive gear, fishing gear, drone, swag, but that's the main things I need. Got a little bit of food, like lettuce and stuff, but main thing is that I want to catch most of my food, breakfast, lunch and dinner. And I'm just having a little jig at this first reef outside the heads and we'll get going soon because it's not producing much. I've got no plan, I don't really like making a plan, I like just coming out and deciding what I do. Uh, the weather's not bad, but it's definitely going to improve, hopefully, throughout the weekend. And yeah, hopefully it'll be three days. The only thing that can stop it is if I run out of fuel on the second day. I'm not going to risk it for a third day. I have my two little jerry cans in the corner that I'll use on the second day, probably. But yeah, hopefully it'll last three days and have an awesome time. So, we'll see what we can get here. First drop in 14 metres. I land this beautiful ocean perch, I'm pretty sure it is. They're amazing eating. I'm going to letting go because I just caught it and I haven't even started yet and I'm not exactly sure it's ocean perch so if it's not let me know in the comments but yeah we'll give him benefit of the doubt I haven't even set my camera up yet give him benefit of the doubt see you buddy tiny little red rock <laughs> I actually saw him come up and hit the last drop on the sound and I saw this arch come up from the bottom to just miss it and then I dropped him straight back down I knew I was going to get a fish then and I just did a slow jig that time, let him get it. Watch out when you're dealing with these guys, they will almost leave you in tears with their spines, even a small one like this. The hooks are just around all the spines, all through their head, poisonous spines. You do not want to get stung by one. See you, buddy. So I think we'll keep going and see what we can find. And yeah, I've got no plan if I'm going to dive or fish first. I'll probably fish for a while because it is a bit cold this morning. But yeah, it'll be fun no matter what happens. Unless I sink your beauty, then it won't be fun, but I doubt that'll happen. Actually, never say never, I'm not going to jinx myself. <laughs> yeah, come along for the ride, we'll see what happens. I just put a jig on my Saragosa. I'm going to try and challenge myself before I go straight to bait. Because bait's real easy for me. Well, for most people, it's the easiest kind of fishing to do. Lures is definitely more rewarding when you hook a fish. So I put a jig on this one. Anthony from Clean Anger gave me this and another one yesterday, Arlo and said he'd guarantee I'll catch more fish with this one than any other jig. So, we'll put it to the test. They are 90 grams, they're a bit heavier than the other ones I've got, but we'll still give it a test. My goal for today is just not lose it to the reef. Because <laughs> we made this hectic jig a while back together, and I lost it to the reef before I even caught a fish. Bit enough on my good jig that Anthony gave me already so we're getting out of here hopefully we can find a better patch of reef to get some dinner at because that is a shame it's tricky conditions this morning it's a bit of wind bit of swell so i've got the bait runner out with a bit of bait i'm anchored up i'm just going to try and get a feed and then uh, the pressure's off and i can do what i want after that i've got a shark on it actually, I was about to leave because I was like, I'm not getting bites. So I started to pull this one in, I just felt this dead weight. And I was like, that's not bottom. So I reckon it's going to be a gummy or a, maybe a, oh, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> I'll put it there because I'm just having a mind bake right now. But yeah, it's, it's a good fish. It's a heavy weight. Not giving up yet. I told you I had the worst. What the hell just happened? My knot broke. My leader to braid knot broke. I have the worst luck. The sharks. Damn it. Oh. That sucks. Urgh. <laughs> oh, yeah, anyway, what can you do? That's fishing. That's why it's called fishing, not catching. Oh, it's just on my phone. <laughs> Taking the video about losing that shark. And this rope went off. It might be a snapper, but it's not very big. It's a shame. He's going back. It's good to see snapper though. He's legal, but he's going back. His bladder's coming up behind the fin. There you go, you can hear it pop. 
man. He should be right just to go straight down. Down he goes. Perfect. Perfect release. I've moved spots. I'm up to a better spot now. Three rods out. Jig. Bait with a snapper lead and then a floating bait. And we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Hopefully it won't go as bad as the last spot. On the jig. Good fish. I think this is dinner. Only six stick. They're just the best jigging rods out there. If you want one, complete angle bait with bait. Tell them Harry sent ya. The right colour. And it's not bad size. Keep him for dinner, he's not a bad one. Oh shit! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> no way! That's a good snapper. Oh, I don't know how long that was going for. Oh my god. On the bait. This is a good fish. Good fish. <laughs> Double whammy. Oh my god. That was sick. You guys probably saw that and I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Double whammy on the boat! <laughs> wow! Alright, they're both pretty good size, so I'm gonna keep them both. Dinner, lunch sorted. Perfect, two little candies in the one drop. So we got a 45 and a 35. Perfect eating size. We'll keep them both, then we got dinner and lunch sorted. Awesome. One drop. <laughs> One drop wonder. <laughs> we'll be trying to get a few more fish than usual. You know, I want some for tonight, tomorrow, even maybe the next day, some to take home. So if I can get a few fish today, we'll take the pressure off tomorrow and the next day to actually get anything. I still go fishing, but then I can just relax. You know, I've got everything sorted if I don't catch fish. And obviously I want to take some home to my family to give them fresh fish because it's one of the best gifts I can give to my family. So yeah, we'll keep trying. Hopefully we get a few more. Ew. Look at this, my Saragosh is going off. Yes! Oh, it's not even that big. It's got some weight to it. It's gonna be a shark. I could be on for another shark here. It's hard to have these other rods going when I've got a fish on. Oh my god. This is going from nothing to just a crazy day of fishing already. It's probably only 9, 10 o'clock. There's a bit. Oh, there's a shark holding onto a fish. I think I just. Yep, yeah, there was a shark holding onto a fish. I don't know what I've got. Because it's still fighting hard, but it's nowhere near as heavy as the other one. Solid snapper. With no... With no shark marks in it. That is random as. I don't know what just happened. Maybe he reefed me. And I just got him out of the hole. That seriously might have been what happened. He must have been in a hole and I was just drifting and it was taking me. <laughs> it was sitting in the hole. But that's a, that's a good snapper. He's absolutely swallowed that. Yep, 50 on the dot. Good fish, he's coming home with me. I'm gonna get a feed today. On the bait. On the bait. Oh. Woo! Another nice little panty. Oh, it is snapper galore. Honestly, I'd rather a mixed bag. <laughs> I get bored of catching snapper, they're so fun, but like, I want some blue mollies, I want some piggies, I want a shark. It is going off. My arm is getting sore. Today, I feel like a true fisherman. After losing that shark, I'm very sad. I wasn't sad, but I was annoyed. <laughs> Now it's just all come together. 
Nice piggy. Yes. I wanted a mixed bag. Yes, I'm happy with that. More happy with them if I pulled up a snapper. Called pig fish because the snout there. Beautiful fish, beautiful eating, almost better than snapper, I reckon. And I'm happy with the mixed bag, so he's going in the esky. Fish of the day on the Saragossa, again, third time in a row. This is the best snapper I've ever caught, I'm telling you right now. Holy moly, it is doing runs. Holy moly, you should have seen in the rod holder. It was just smashed. This is the fish, I threw my phone onto the esky. So I just ran it and grabbed it. Oh my god, today is the best fishing day I've ever had in my life. Snapper wise, anyway. Oh my god. This is gonna be a big dog snapper. Holy moly, that thing exploded. Good color. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell is the biggest snap of my life? Yes! What? Yes! Wow! Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's the biggest snap of my life! What the hell? Oh! He's pushing 60! He's pushing 60! Oh my god! You beautiful thing! Holy moly! Holy moly! Oh my god, I'm shaking! Holy moly! What? PB snapper, 59 centimeters. I'm gonna try and release this. I have plenty of fish and I love big snapper. If he doesn't go, I'll keep him, but I'm gonna try and give him better for the doubt. His bladder's pretty messed up. We'll pop it. Please swim, buddy. Please swim. Please swim. Come on. Please swim. This is your second chance at life. I can feel it, he's gonna go. Yes! Yes! Oh, damn it, that feels so good. That feels better than keeping that fish that size. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Yes. My jig's not getting touched. The bait's getting smashed on both rods, but the jig itself only got one fish, I think. So I think it's a good time now to put on the jig Anthony told me, the other one that I didn't lose, and see if it changes anything. You know, he's pretty certain that it would catch more fish than the Chinese made one, so we'll put it on, and see if we get one. All right, first drop with the new jig. Hopefully I don't lose this one as quick as I lost the last one. Saragosa on again, to a good snapper. Oh, another good fish. What the hell? Let's get him straight back in. And a big splash to say goodbye. I was just about to move spots and do a redrift. Another, another one on. Woo! What is happening? That is an awesome fish. But I just got way too many. Another awesome fish, about 40 to 50. Beautiful fish. His blood has come up as well, just because they come up so fast. From such high pressure up to no pressure, I'm pretty sure it's that way. And yeah, their bladder kind of comes out their mouth. So like always, behind the fin, just the knife, gently. You hear it pop, and then, hopefully, this guy will go straight down. I preach sustainability and releasing fish, especially like snapper when you catch a fair few, because they're slow growing fish. At the start, when I've only caught like four, I took every one of them, except for the first little one, and felt pretty bad, honestly, because I was like, oh no, I've, caught, I've kept every one that I've caught. But then, you know, it was like, good karma I guess and caught those big ones let them go because I just don't need any more like and I've still got tomorrow and the next day to fish so that's what I'm kind of keeping at a few snapper a few nana guy and a nice piggy so it's plenty for me for the rest of the trip even a bit for my parents and family 
and then still got tomorrow to get a couple fish. If it's shit well, I catch nothing, still got fish in there. Next day, same thing happens. You know, if I catch a dewfish tonight, whatever happens, but it's just awesome feeling releasing fish. Like I could have, I bagged out on snapper, 10 fish per person. It's ridiculous to me that you're allowed to keep 10 snapper anyway. No one needs 10 snapper in one day, but you know, I kept five, four or five, I don't know. Lost count. <laughs> I honestly was just about to move again, brought that rod in, was just about to wind the jig up and it got smashed. It's not a bad fish. Another good snapper on the fully six stick. It's just non stop. Midway battery swap with the nine, and the jig got smashed again. I just left it in the rod hole and changed the batch quickly. <laughs> Cutting the door. I just left in the rod holder, changed the batteries quickly because if I lost it, I wasn't going to mind that much. Are you guys getting bored yet? Another snapper. What the hell? I'm going to have to take this guy, even though I wanted to let him go, he's spewing up his guts. And I thought he must have just eaten some guts, so I pulled them out and I realised I just pulled his guts out. So sorry buddy, he's not going to be wasted obviously, um, but yeah, I wish I could let him go, but I kind of just stopped up then. Well, lost the jig, that's a shame. Sorry Anthony, but I got two snapper. <laughs> uh. On again, on the jig. Hey, I'm on while I was messaging on the jig. <laughs> Another one on the jig. This one's going hard. This is going to be the PB today on the jig. Oh, this could be a good fish. I'm on the phone to Halsey right now. <laughs> you shut up, mate. <laughs> oh, they are just getting smashed today. This is non stop action. Ugh. Yeah, it's hitting the 50s for sure. That is solid. That is solid. Quick pick. Nice snap by 51. Just over the 50 mark. Well, that's too old for the jig, so I don't really know, to be honest. You know, if you put a jig in a snapper's face, most likely it's gonna, it's gonna grab it, so I don't know. There's probably a different action on different jigs. I can't really test the other ones anymore because I lost them which sucks, but you know, if you get a jig, put it down, have some baits down, best of both worlds, can't go wrong. Another good one on it, just reef me, and I have to get it out of the reef, and it's a good fish. It is a good fish. This could be a PB one, doesn't feel as big, but it could be. That had me in the reef, that dog, got him out. Not a PB, but great fish nonetheless. Oh my god. There's just millions of 50 centimetre snapper here. Can't get enough. 48 centimetre one. Not a bad fish. Down he goes and splashed myself then. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! This is the best fish of day ever. Jig, 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 hit, 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 hit. I can't even talk anymore. This is non-stop. What the hell is happening right now? Another one on the jig. I'm stoked and pretty damn proud that I can say that I've released more fish than I've kept today, snapper-wise. Like, I reckon I've caught, I've lost count, I'll be able to count when I watch the GoPro videos, but I reckon I've caught like 16 or so, released about 10. Got five in the esky, a few other fish. 
and I don't just do it for videos, you know, practice what you preach, yeah, but it honestly feels so good releasing good fish and just seeing them swim down, for me anyway, I reckon, and I don't know, like, yeah, get a feed, but you don't need to smash them every single time. I know some people just bag out, bag out, bag out, and fair enough, like, you're your own person, you can do what you want, I can't tell you what to do, but I just reckon everyone should kind of try and practice a bit of catch and release fishing when they can, because it's honestly, it's the future of these oceans, and yeah, me, personally, taking 10 probably wouldn't do much to an ecosystem, and the trawlers and the commercial fishers, yeah, they're our enemy, but if we can do our part as well, you know, then at least we know what we're doing is right and we're helping the oceans in any way. And I reckon you get good karma, but that's just me. Just feel it's one of the little pan-sized snapper. Left the skin on, I'm gonna have crispy skin snapper for lunch. Set the gas cooker up here. Perfect day in paradise. Go. Doesn't look the most appetizing thing in the world, probably because I can't cook very well, but that is just gonna taste so insane, let's get a bit. Seriously, having it that fresh, there's no way you can stuff that up, it just tastes so good. That is the best lunch ever. Mmm, Halfway between eating lunch, and I've got the fish of the day on. <laughs> Holy moly, it's a good fish. <laughs> this might be a PB again. Oh seriously, just put a mouthful in and the rod just went off. Oh my god. Not fish of the day, not PB, but Good fish. I'm watching that rod. I just got my cameras ready, but I'm watching that rod. I seem to have more luck if I just leave them in the rod holder than if I go up and actually strike at it and stuff. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing, hook the fish themselves, and then I'll just reel it in. Yep, 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 yep. Good fish, good fish, good fish. Good fish. Oh, yes. Oh, that run was insane. I was just packing up to leave. I brought in other rods. I was just taking the bait off and it just started screaming. Oh, oh that's some weight there. Bit of colour there. It's definitely the right colour. Another one. Not a PB though, but again in that 50 centimetre. Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's a freaking donk. Bigger than what I thought. You're gonna go straight down. 55, he's going straight down. See you, mate. Down he goes. It's pretty slow now, it's about 3 p.m. The sun's slowly setting. The wind's held off all day, which is amazing. It's meant to be light this morning and then a bit stronger this afternoon, but it was the other way around and everyone's gone in. No! Lost it! No! Anyway, like I was saying, everyone's gone in and I'm just sitting here catching snappers. <laughs> with not one soul in sight. And it's amazing and I love this place. And I just want to tell you guys. I want to tell you guys, if you're liking this video, right now just hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. It will mean the world to me. If you want to support me in buying merch or becoming a member, the links are down below. But, <laughs> I can't even stay away from the snap of the day. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. I can't make that up. Happened twice and I lost one and I reckon it's the same fish. 
Oh. But yeah, it will mean the world to me if you guys just like it, leave a comment, you can comment whatever you want. Doesn't really matter to me, but it really helps to get this video into the YouTube algorithm and to show it to more people, which is really the thing that I'm struggling with is getting new viewers onto my videos. And another nice red. And let's get him straight back in as quickly as possible. Pop the bladder. That is the same fish. It has my other piece of bait in its mouth. What the hell? That is amazing. It just spat out my other piece of bait that I lost it. And it must have just gone around the other piece and smashed that. Nice 45 centimeter. See you, mate. Down he goes. Oh, that was insane. Oh, and if that doesn't earn myself, Everyone's likes and comments. I don't know what will because that was insane. <laughs> Calling it quits for today. Need to get some liveies. It's three o'clock. Gets dark at five thirty now. We don't have daylight savings, so I've got two and a half hours to get some liveies. Hopefully, I can do it. It's going to be a boring night, but I reckon if we get a couple, we might be have a good chance of getting a dewy. So, wish us luck. Well, we made it to the public mooring. I'm going to do this one that's a bit outside the actual river. There's a few public moorings in the river, but I'm gonna use this one, which is outside the river, near the island, just because it's something different. You know, I don't have liveys, so there's no point going in the river and trying for a jewfish and no squid either. So he will be peaceful. You know, I'm kind of in the ocean, so it's kind of a cool feeling. We'll cook some dinner soon. I'm gonna put some warm, warmer clothes on, set my swag up so it's all nice and ready for bed, charge a few GoPros and stuff, and yeah. What an awesome first day to a camping trip, I gotta admit. Uh, that was crazy. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have had an awesome day out fishing like that where it just all comes together and you just get some great fish because that was crazy. Bit of panko crumbs on the snapper, sizzling away. What a beautiful arvo. Fish wrap for dinner. If you're wondering what I forgot today, it was the cheese. But tomato, lettuce, sauce, fish, you know, it's still gonna be amazing. Unless something crazy happens tonight, I will see you guys next episode. Cheers everyone for watching this one. That was the most amazing fishing day of my life ever. I can't describe just how crazy that was. Snapper after snapper after snapper, PB snapper as well. Releasing more than what I kept. I kept six snapper in the end, because I ate one for lunch and then added one more to it. Couple nana guy, pigfish. Plenty to take home to the family, plenty for me to eat, and released, it would have been 14, 15 snapper, which is just unbelievable for me. I never thought I'd catch that many in one day. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think we're going to the fad. Diving, dolphin fish, kingfish, hopefully. So I'll see you guys there. We'll do more spear fishing tomorrow. I'll pick up a mate and that will be next episode. So don't forget, stay tuned to that. Hit the like, hit the comment, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that just means the world. It makes such a big difference. Like it's such a little thing for you guys to do and it makes such a big difference if everyone does it. So I hope to see you there. And yeah, cheers everyone for watching. my way. I play the catch and baby just slide on me. Only time you lie is when you lie on me. Be my forever baby come ride my wave. Hop in the baby and slide my way. I play the catch and baby just slide on me. Only time you lie is when you lie.